Hello, Spawn and Spawnettes. My name is Azel the Demon, and this is Mutant Uprising, a, another interactive fiction game on Congregate.com. You guys know so far how I feel about interactive fiction games. I think that they are a lot of fun. I've been having a great time recording them. So let's check out this new one. Let's see how it goes. Your name is Rick, an unemployed 20-something who lives alone in a one-bedroom house. After a busy morning getting rejected for job interviews, you sit down to watch the news. The newscaster is speaking in a panicked tone, which you think is quite unprofessional. Your eyes widen as you hear what he is saying. There has been some kind of disease outbreak. People are mutating in horrible ways and killing anyone who hasn't been in infected. Your bowels tighten as you release... or as you release... <laughs> as you realize this could be the apocalypse. Suddenly, there's a loud knocking on the door. You almost jump out of your skin. Your heart is pounding, but fortunately, you haven't crapped yourself yet. The knocking continues, loudly and insistently. What do you do? We can ignore the knocking and keep watching TV. We can go to an upstairs room, look down to see who's knocking on the door, fling the door open and greet whoever it is with a warm welcome, open the door cautiously on a chain. Let's go to an upstairs room and look down. You look down onto your doorstep from an upstairs bedroom and see Mrs. Miggins, your elderly next-door neighbor. We can take her. She's beating on the front door with both fists, seemingly trying to break her way in. You're confused as to why she's acting this way until you notice there's some kind of yellow goo dribbling from her mouth. She's clearly one of the infected people that TV report was talking about. So we've got a, we can go down to the kitchen and find something, we can go downstairs and panic, we can jump out the window and try and land on her, or we can get the hell out. Let's go to the kitchen and see if we can't get some kind of weapon or something. You run into the kitchen and then realize this possibly wasn't the best idea in the world. The only way out is back the way you came, and Mrs. Miggins is already standing in the doorway. We can get a kitchen knife, we can get a raw bloody hunk of meat, we can beat the crap out of her, or we can hide in the cupboard. Hmm. I guess let's give her the raw bloody hunk. Eyes half closed, hands shaking, you hold out the dripping meat and offer it to Mrs. Higgins. She sniffs it tentatively, then takes it from you and starts chewing on it happily, giving out a strange purring noise. You take this as a cue to tiptoe around her and get the hell out of your house. We have achieved kindness. So there's apparently now stats of some kind. I'm guessing there's a like a kindness, a brutality, stuff like that. You head out of your house, only pausing to pick up a rucksack from your shed. You have a feeling it will come in handy. You need to find somewhere to hide out. Where do we go? We can head into the town center or head into open countryside. So, going through some of this now, there was a different game, I'm sure it was by GP Studios as well, that had an identical, damn near identical, interface as this. So I'll have to go find that somewhere and show it to you guys as well, because that, that was fun as well. Alright, so where are we going? Are we going to the town center or the open countryside? Honestly, let's check out the town center. I think that's going to be more entertaining and give us better options, and we'll see if there's more stuff. So let's head to the town center. Let's see what we've got. We enter the town center and are terrified by what you see. Mutants are everywhere, and they're killing people left, right, and center. Hideous freaks, worse than in any horror movie you've ever seen, are literally tearing people apart and eating the goo that comes out. If you don't act quickly, you'll join the long list of victims. We can hide in a pile of bin bags. So, uh, not that this really matters, but it seems like the guys who made this are from Britain. I'm guessing, because a lot of the language and a lot of the spellings all seem very British. So bin bags is trash bags, for anybody who doesn't know. Uh, try to sneak in, try to sneak by the carnage without being noticed. That's not going to happen. Panic and start running away like a, a Muppet. No. Or we can go to the pub. Let's hide in the bi pile of bin bags. It's going to make us stink, but hey, maybe it'll mask our scent or something cool. Thinking quickly, you dive into a stinking pile of rubbish and try to conceal yourself as best you can. You've never encountered such a stench, but it seems to be a fairly safe place to be. Hidden, It is hidden down an alley, and most of the carnage is going on in the main street. You wait until nightfall before leaving your hiding place. An eerie silence has fallen upon the town. More importantly, you're hungry. As you head back into the town center, your empty stomach lurches at the sight you come across. Main street is strewn with bodies. None of them appear to be moving. Creep through the bodies, trying not to step on anything. Take the long route around, avoiding the bodies altogether. Run through the bodies as fast as possible. So let's take the long route around. Takes a little longer, but you're not going to risk your life unnecessarily. Damn straight. Don't walk through the bodies. It could just be a mutant hiding. You're so hungry, uh, you are hungry, so decide to go to the supermarket to get some grub. As you approach, you see the lights are still on and there are several people inside. Just as you enter, however, you realize that every single one of them is a mutant. 
So let's see, we can grab a shopping trolley, we can get a shopping bag, pretend to be a mutant. Let's do this Shaun of the Dead style. You figure that zombies are more or less the same thing as mutants. Besides, they got away with it with Shaun of the Dead, didn't they? Mutants are I've obviously never seen that movie. Ah, oh, balls. <laughs> All right, let's retry from previous checkpoint. Okay. Blah 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 blah. So we can't pretend to be a mutant. I guess let's grab a shopping trolley. We can keep them away, maybe. Shopping trolley is a useful weapon as you use it to barge mutants out of the way and get to the food. You see a stack of baked beans on special offer and charge straight at it. Several cans fall into the trolley. Happy with your spoils of war, you head straight out of the supermarket. Hooray! We've got a six can multi pack of beans. Thankfully, we don't have any travel companions. Mutants from the supermarket have seen you leave and are giving chase. You run as fast as you can. Where do you er yeah, where do you go to get away? Head to the town center, drop to your knees and scream, Why can't we all just get along? Take a trolley, run up the slope, then push it back down towards the mutants. Uh take a trolley, jump onto it, and head down a slope. Let's try that. Huh. You shout wee as you hurtle down the slope to freedom. Then you shout, oh shit, as you notice a brick wall right at the bottom. Unable to stop, you crash straight into it and fly over the top. Left the scrapes and bruises, but are otherwise unhurt. You kind of wish you had time to do it again. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Outside the station. In need of somewhere safe to hide out, you decide the police station may be the best bet. After all, there will probably be weapons inside. You reach the station and pause. What's the best way in? Burst in through the front door, knock on the front door and say, let me in, I'm not a mutant. Sneak in through the back. Let's knock on the front door and say, let me in, I'm not a mutant. Knocking on the front door by soul is noticed by the sole remaining police chief inside. Unfortunately, it is also noticed by the mutant horde. Police chief curses you and lets you inside. He tosses you a gun and tells you to get ready. Mutants are launching an all-out assault. Oh, no! Mutants have launched an all-out assault on the police station. There are several dozen of them out there, and more pe appear to be joining every moment. The police chief is screaming obscenities as the wave of enemies gets closer and closer. We gotta get out of here. Because this isn't gonna this is this isn't gonna go well. Plead with the insane chief, telling him there's no way he can beat them all. He's too far gone and seems unable to hear you. Sadly, you leave him to his fate. Hurry, we got more kindness. Fight your way through the remaining mutants out the back of the police station. There are far fewer mutants back here, but you still don't have enough bullets for them all. Two remain. Their tongues are almost as long as the rest of their body and seem to be oozing a deadly poison. Let's, I guess, throw a can of beans. Open the tin before you throw it, and the nearest mutant is left covered in beans. Smell the beans attracts the other mutant, who begins to eat her former friend. You watch the ensuing scene, and after a while, you begin to find it quite arousing. It's a bit like that hentai porn that you used to watch on the internet. You take a step back to unzip your trousers, but trip and fall down an open manhole right behind you. That is disgusting. <laughs> There's an almighty splash as you hit the foul-smelling sewer water. You're dripping with disgusting liquid, and you don't even want to consider what sort of illnesses you could pick up from being here. On the plus side, it seems there are no mutants. Well, I guess let's move along through the sewer, then, if there are no mutants. That seems like a decent uh, decent plan of action. Finally, find another manhole but that you reckon is far enough away from the mutants to be safe. You emerge to find yourself during the outskirts of town. There are no mutants around. After going a few steps, you realize that you, are, that you absolutely stink. This is not good, because the attention... The stench will soon attract a curious mutant. You need to wash and get a change of clothes. Um, we could go to the nearest house and use the shower, or we could take a dip in an indoor swimming pool. Let's do that one. Because the shower will be, like, hidden away. We won't know if somebody's sneaking up on us. Here, we can tread water, as it's saying. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Yeah, she's a mutant. All right, so I, I I read ahead on accident. Let's let's catch you guys up. You are having a nice relaxing dip in the heated indoor pool. Stench of the sewers is now just a bad memory, and you're starting to feel good about yourself again. Suddenly, you're about out of or suddenly you are brought out of your reverie when you hear a splash. Treading water, you look over to see a hot naked chick making her way over to you. You start to get quite excited until you notice the inside of her mouth. There are rows upon rows of shark-like teeth. She's a mutant, a hot naked mutant chick. Filled with terror, you crap yourself. Get the hell out of there. Attempt to have sex. Or we can offer her some beans. Let's offer her some beans. Hot, naked, mutant chick takes you up on your offer and appears to be very grateful for your kindness. She gives you a sly look. You feel something stir inside you, and you, before you know it, you're having hot, naked, mutant sex. Two birds with one stone. We got kindness, and we got sex. Good times in the apocalypse. You pick up some fresh clothing from the changing room and leave the building. 
You go to a small shopping district and wonder what your next move should be. We can go into an amusement arcade and play video games, we can go to the news agents, or we can sit on a bench. So let's go to the news agents. Pick up a newspaper and peruse it for information. You find a story about a government plan to add some new experimental mineral to the water supply and improve the nation's health. That couldn't be the reason behind what's happening, could it? How could you have escaped from infection? You then realize you hardly ever wash and you only ever drink beer. Perhaps you need prolonged exposure to become infected. Until you find out the truth, you vow to never bathe again. Alright. As you walk along the street, you come across a smashed up pet shop. There doesn't appear to be any pets left inside, at least not leaving. All except for one small animal standing on the pavement. A gerbil. It appears to be staring at you, and it's making you slightly nervous. Let's feed it some beans! Gerbils don't eat beans. Disgusted by your offering, the gerbil leaps up and burrows into your eyeball, not stopping until it reaches the juicy center of your brain. Bummer. I actually thought that was going to work. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, give me a second, and I'm just going to get back to where we were. Indoor. Yep, yep. All right, we're back. We died last time by offering us some beans. Uh, let's try to sing it a lullaby. They say that music soothes the savage beast, and that certainly proves the case this time. The gerbil snuffles up to you and rubs itself against you. It appears you've made a friend. How many more beans do we have? Um, I'm guessing we've used two, I think. Uh, it appears you've made a friend. You pick him up and realize he is really is a mutant gerbil with razor sharp teeth. You decide to name him Jerry. So we now have Jerry the mutant razor tooth gerbil, and that's pretty exciting. We've got it. <laughs> wow. Now that I think about it, we've had sex with the hot naked mutant chick, and now we have Jerry the mutant gerbil. We're making mutant friends all over the place. We're like the mutant whisperer. <laughs> you decide you need somewhere quiet to hang out, so you go to the library. Um, let's keep watch for mutants. Or do we want to investigate? Let's set Jerry the gerbil on guard duty. Uh, Jerry lets out a squeak. You go to the window to see what he's looking at. That's not what I wanted. I didn't want to look up porn. Mutants are beginning to gather outside the library. Um, I guess get the hell out. You decide you have to get the hell out, but you're going to need transport to do so. Let's steal a bicycle. Bicycles don't need gas or anything. Pretty unfit, and you have no idea how far you'll travel before you need decent shelter. You head off to find better transport. Come across a car showroom. There should be an easy way to get into one of these vehicles and claim it for your own. We can go straight into the main building, we can peer through the windows, we can try to hotwire, or we can send Jerry to scout the area. Jerry discovers there is someone inside. It is the former salesroom owner. Skin on his face is melted away to reveal nothing but a skull, and his body is covered in lethal looking spines. So, he's an asshole, like a car salesman. You'll have to get by him somehow. There's no getting around it. You're going to have to kill this mutant somehow. But how is the best way to do it? We can grab a car aerial and try to skewer it. We can try to crush its head in the door, grab it by the torso, run across the room, and bash its head against the opposite wall. Or we can send Jerry the attack gerbil against it. Not to abuse Jerry, but let's do it. A single cry and the patter of gushing blood. You open the door to see Jerry sitting proudly atop his skull. Well done, Jerry. You've earned your lunch today. You need to find some keys if you're going to use these vehicles for a getaway. Where would the owner have kept the keys? So just real quick, it seems like Jerry the attack gerbil here is like some kind of uber get out of jail free card. I'm kind of loving it. Okay, so we can take a look in the staff room, we can take a look on the front desk, or we can send Jerry the gerbil to find the keys. Let's take a look in the staff room. Open the door. Ah, oh, full of staff. They're all mutants. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, let's get back again, because I kind of liked where this was going. This was a pretty decent little... We can send him to scout the area, and then we send him to attack the dude. Alright. Now we're inside. I guess let's take a look on the front desk. Jackpot! You found an array of keys, all marked specifically for the keys they operate. Guides are always nice. So, we have got 
Uh, we've got a choice of vehicles to pick from. You'll soon be driving away from this hellhole of a town to find somewhere quiet in the hills, far away from civilization. Just as you're beginning to relax, you hear a toilet flush. The door opens, and you turn to see a mutant with no arms and gigantic teeth. With his trousers down around his ankles, he lets out a terrifying roar. With nowhere else to go, you run into the seating area and discover it's a dead end. Oh, crap. Just as you... <laughs> Just as you think this might be it, you spot some weapons hidden beneath one of the chairs. This must have been an earlier hideout for somebody. The mutant is now quickly closing on you. You have to choose a weapon and strike back. Okay, fun fact, do not use chainsaws or shotguns. They are terrible, they draw more attention than they're worth. So we have to decide between the pistol and the sledgehammer. I'm really curious to know whether or not Rick, the person that we're playing as, has any training with a firearm. So let's see. No! Hit it squarely in the head six times. It hardly has any effect. Oh, wow! He fires six times and hit it squarely in the head. So yes, we do have firearms training, apparently. Reach for another weapon, but the mutant charges. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We died. It sucks. So I guess let's try the sledgehammer. You can barely lift the heavy mallet. The mutant is quickly approaching, so you only have one swing at, it, at, at this. You lift the hammer up, Oh, you heft the hammer up, wait for the perfect moment to strike, and bring it round with all your strength, letting the momentum do the work. Mutant's head shatters with a satisfying crack. In the background, you hear other mutants crying out. The commotion must have disturbed them. You have to get out of there. You leave the hammer behind, and it is far too heavy to take with you. Alright, we've got four vehicles. We've got an SUV, a people carrier, a high-end sports car, and a discounted old banger out the back. Let's honestly go with the banger. Um, the SUV is going to take too much gas, the people carrier is going to just be big and unwieldy, high-end sports car, you'd think, but you'd be wrong. Well, possibly. Let's try it. No! Eh. Mutants, you find you instantly in the sports car's fragile bodywork is of no prote protection. One muscle-bound mutant swings both his fists down on the car's engine and destroys it. Alright, so, alright. Blah, blah, blah. Use a sledgehammer. Car showroom. Discounted little banger. Car may not be the strongest, but it's got a clear path to the back exit. Just as you start up the engine, one of the mutants finds you, and they begin to rush towards you en masse. Mutants are rushing towards you head on. There has to be about a dozen of them, and some of them are the most terrifying monsters you've seen yet. Try to drive straight through them. Try to drive around them and get through the back. Get out of the car and run. Send Jerry the attack gerbil against these impossible odds. I guess... Jerry gives you a salute and jumps into the fray, darting from mutant to mutant and biting their necks. This gives you enough time to start up the car and get it moving. Just as you're about to call to Jerry to come back, you see one of the mutants grab him mid-air. As you scream, no! The mutant bites Jerry's head off and spits it out. Oh god, that's dark. I'm sad now, guys. Jerry. Tears come out of your eyes at the death of your only friend and you speed out of the court forecourt. Ah, I'm sad now. As you drive on down the road, you notice another vehicle in your rearview mirror. To your horror, you realize it is the mutants from the showroom. They've taken a truck and are hunting you down. You're jolted in your seat as they ram you from behind. They're trying to force you off the road. We can put our hazard lights on, maintain speed and try to keep control, push the car to its absolute mi limits, or we can try and get behind them. I don't think... It, it's a discounted old banger. Uh, but I guess... I don't know. It might. Let's see. No! pedal to the metal and tear as fast as you can. Suddenly you take a corner a little too fast and go into a skid. Totally out of control. We crash into a building and we die instantly. Alright. Um, what happens if we maintain speed and try and control? Manage to keep your car steady as the mutants continue. I mean, you can't hold on much longer. Made it onto the highway, but you have to do something about those bastard mutants following you. This is your last chance. What are you going to do? We can try and outrun them. I don't think that's going to work. We can go into the upcoming roundabout and try and shake them off, or we can try to ram them off the road. They're in a truck. That's not happening. So I guess we're going to go to the roundabout. You all spin around and around on the roundabout, getting very, very dizzy. You take one exit at the last moment, and the mutants miss it completely. Crashing their vehicles, they try to follow you. You drive away unscathed. You've made it. Excellent. You keep on driving until you find an abandoned hut in the middle of a woodland. It is next to a running stream and there's plenty of non-infected wildlife and fruit available. You can live here as long as you need. You can't think about Jerry without getting tearful. You only knew him for a short while, but he was the best damn gerbil you've ever met. He was pretty fantastic. It was awesome. You find yourself wishing that mutants and humans could get over their differences and just be friends. On your way out of town, you did your best to help everyone you met, whether they were human or not. 
Ranking C. You show some aptitude to surviving the mutant apocalypse, but you'd be best off teaming up with a group of people who know what they're doing. Um, I'm guessing actually that that's because I use Jerry the Gerbil a lot instead of making my own decisions. But yeah, I hope you guys had fun. This was a, a very interesting little thing. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the show. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe if you guys are enjoying the show. And share if you can. I always appreciate it. And definitely don't forget to check out the rest of the Aes the Demon brand with the links down in the description below. Have a great rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you next time.